behind me is the road going to the new farm that we have. This is very accessible since it's wide. The vehicle, four-wheel vehicle, can just pass through very conveniently from here to that place. And you guys can see that we have here a bunch of fish that are growing here. There are a mix of shubunkin, red caps, randas, and even this uh, uh, bullhead. I'd like to tell you that we are now growing some selected fish. They are the good quality fish that we can utilize as breeders in the future. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Allow me to inspire you once more about this fish industry. In our previous videos, we mentioned that if you have the willpower to do business about this fish, then you can do it. because it doesn't regard about the place or the facility that you are actually maintaining. But the topmost of it is your willpower, your ability to, you know, utilize your place even if it's limited. I'm talking about the 200 square meters that we have developed here by means of doing concrete tanks. And as you can see, our staff have been so busy now uh, making a good harvest of our goldfish and also our catfish. Well, yesterday we were able to do a good harvest about our catfish. And then we can also hear the chirpings of the birds where we can also do a little business out of our birds. What inspired me so much today is the turn of events. What I mean is that this property is now connected to our new farm because the public road had been already constructed. There is an ongoing construction now of our access road towards our new farm. And this is a very good development for us because it will not only give us the access, but it will also give us the easy monitoring of our farm activities right there. So from this house, we will just pass through a 50 meter barangay road that is now about to be concretized and we can already reach our new farm. So this is a very good development because in the old farm that we had, it takes some one hour or two. When we are going there early in the morning, we cannot get there for one hour because of the traffic. So I thank God for all this that had happened to us. And you guys can see that we have here a bunch of fish that are growing here. And you can see that 
There are a mix of shubunkin, red cups, randas, and even this bullhead. And I'm so inspired because uh, we are selling this at the pet store. As you know, we have this business of aquatic shop and majority of our pets that were actually sold there are our own produce. And I'm so happy with this because they are so healthy. Of course, our staff had been uh, helping us in doing all this harvest. And in doing the harvest, we practice that we're gonna do it early in the morning so that the fish will not become really very stressed. And you will see that there are big fish right there. I believe that these fish have eaten some of the smaller fish. That's why they become monsters. So they're quite big here and I'd like to put them here in this plastic. And I'd like to tell you that even if you have small tanks like this, you can still grow very effectively your fish as long as you can adapt a good method or filtration system. Well, we have here the plants and we have here the filter buckets and the water is actually cycled from this tank towards the three buckets and then we have there a media which is all natural and i've been telling you about this since we have started this vlog that these natural plants can effectively help us growing our fish what i mean is that if we can maintain a clean water the fish will really grow and even when they are very congested the digestive system of the fish is well balanced if they have good filtration system so i can now recommend to use some natural plants instead of this uh, artificial filter media you can use these natural plants in order for us to minimize the expenses and to promote a good balanced ecosystem of the tank Behind me is the road going to the new farm that we have and this is very accessible since it's wide. The vehicle, four-wheel vehicle, can just pass through very conveniently from here to that place. And I'm so happy about this and this is gonna be the start of our mega fest farm that will be established in the new farm that we had. So I'm thinking about the catfish industry and thinking about the Japanese koi industry, the goldfish. And as we speak today, we already have also produced plenty of this catfish. And we have also baby goldfish right here. We have so many baby uh, shubunkins and several others that can be grown in the new farm that we are envisioning. And I hope that you will support me and you will back me up by means of your support, by means of your views and sharing of our videos, I think we can realize this one. We can effectively realize this one and be able to share our experiences, personal experiences and good and bad practices that our followers could also learn about. We have here a bunch of breeders and I'd like to tell you that we are now growing some selected fish they are the good quality fish that we can utilize as breeders in the future i believe that two three months from now we're gonna be able to you know use the selected ones to become good breeders to produce good fish and i have here the pearl scale we have here the demikin we have this oranda we have this calico type of goldfish and we have this water bubble eye we have this moorfish we have this red cups, we have this 
Bupalu Rancho and many others there are actually several varieties of goldfish that we are now growing to become our quality breeders and this fish industry will be further developed in the new farm that we have now because there is a vast of this area that we can develop into a mud pond where we can grow our fish I'm not sure of 100% success with our plants, but we are already here. We already have been able to adapt good method of breeding of this catfish. And that's why I'm so positive about dreaming a good business out of our hobby. It all started with a hobby. It all started with a simple hobby that we're happy doing and uh, it turned out to be a good business so if you are dreaming to have business like this or even other endeavors as long as you are happy doing it then go for it because if we do things with joy contentment and satisfaction in our hearts normally we will prosper and we will be blessed according to the plans that we have in mind and we have in heart and also have faith in the Almighty. So that's all that we can share with you. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now. Only here at Dexter's World.